Hey guys, Dave Anderson here, Heli Cools Helipad. Hey, today is the day that we're going to be replacing this water pump and the timing chain and actually timing belt and the tensioner, etc. But first, I need to remove this engine mount. I have the jack stand that is under the engine and supporting it. I just lifted the engine actually maybe just a couple of inches. Um, doesn't take much. And I'm using some metric wrenches to remove this engine mount. There's a 15 millimeter that's pretty easy. Once this light is removed, either from the light side or you can actually get it from the side as well. There it is. And then you have a couple of bolts that are a bit bigger. I believe those are 16, no, uh, yeah, 16 millimeter. And there's, uh, I think three of those couple of them that are 18 millimeters. Let's go ahead and remove it though. All right, there's one motor mount. And it's just a good idea to put the bolts back into the places where they were. I mean, there's different thread patterns, so it's not like you can mess it up, but I like to keep everything organized so I can find my bolts later too. All right, there's the cover. I just had to slip it out back behind the engine. Now to remove the belt, you just take your 15 millimeter wrench, pry against this, and uh, it will loosen up um, the belt because of course this is the tensioner and you can get the belt off and then to get the tensioner out it's these three bolts and it comes right out yeah i make it sound so easy well i got the belt off but uh you know what you need to get this other motor mount out of here and it's kind of a pain um try to get a view here the top motor mount wasn't too bad. Pulled that out nice and easy. But this other one right here, that one, there's two bolts and you gotta come in from back here and one back here. So you lift the engine with the jack and you can uh, access it. And then there's one more bolt and it's right there. And you just access it by you know, turning the wheel, jacking it up a little bit, allowing the jack to come down a little bit so that you have access to it. Once you got those three removed, then you can slip the belt out from behind that second motor mount, okay? Well, at some point in time, it is gonna be helpful to remove this lower cover three 10 millimeter bolts hold it in there uh, okay i recommend degreasing this before you put it back in All right, here's the timing belt. While you're into it this deep, you might as well check out the serpentine belt. You know, I thought this was actually pretty good. You know, you squeeze it like this and there isn't any cracks. But then I saw this. I don't know if you can see that, but it's all chewed up on this end missing some of the v-notch that's in it yeah i'm just going to go ahead and order one oem it's got v-notches on both sides of it so uh heck yeah while i'm in there let's just replace it all right 
right, next I'm gonna remove that little uh, uh, component. It takes a T50. Nice and easy. Don't need a spanner for it at all. Okay. Pretty simple. All right. 10 millimeter to the rescue. Two bolts, one there, one there. One you get from the top, one you get from the bottom. Everything is now removed except for the water pump. There's three 10 millimeter bolts that hold that in. Before you do, you want to drain the antifreeze. There's still gonna be some more that come up out of here, but uh, at least we'll minimize that. There is a corner where I'm going to pry against the the uh, block of the engine and that should come right out. All right. Uh, there should be a tab right here. Huh. Wow. You can say it with me. What a POS. And I wonder where that piece is. Okay, note to self, never, never replace one with a plastic impeller. Wow. Slow clap. Woo. Thank you. Well, I was able to fish this part out of the engine block. Thank goodness. Uh, yeah, that would have been bad. All right, here is the new pump. Okay, and it has a metal impeller. I'm so much better than this POS with the plastic impeller that's junk. So I'm going to use silicone spray and I'm gonna put the uh, gasket on there and silicone spray and then push this into place. We are in between rain showers got my silicone spray and you want to make sure that you spray this really good and I like uh, silicone because well it works pretty good it is a little bit slicker because it has a silicone spray on it just remember that and don't drop it Okay, the water pump is in, and that is the main culprit of why we decided to pull this apart and why it had to be done. But while we're in here, we need to also take care of the timing system, timing belt, tensioners, and all of that. But that'll have to wait till next time because I also want to replace this guy Okay, it's a tensioner for the serpentine belt. Um, I mean, what the heck? While I'm in there, let's go ahead and take care of this. I'm also ordering the serpentine belt. Those just haven't come in yet. So next time, we're going to finish up this project. Hopefully, keeping those fingers crossed, we're going to at least get that engine done. I especially want to get the engine done so I can get this thing out on the road and just get some ripping with it. That'll be pretty awesome. But I think in, before I get it out on the road, we're going to have to replace some of these front end parts, especially the part that is holding the radiator because the radiator is just kind of dangling for now. It's okay. We got the parts and we have the technology. 
So until then, I'm Dave Anderson signing out. You guys be safe out there and God bless.